Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twig. Um, so yeah, uh, this week the Core Wars perk rotation has changed for the first time in a while and there's a couple brand new perks in there that haven't been in the rotation before so that's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. So as always, I'll start off by putting the change logs for this week's update on the screen now so you can pause the video and read them if you want. So the new items in the shop this week are the legendary I'm better than you title, the rare fishbowl core, the epic futuristic gravestone, the rare foxtail avatar, the rare snow foxtail avatar, and the rare dogtail avatar. So yeah, other than the shop changes, uh, this week there's only one change, which is uh, the rotation of the Core Wars perks, um, which is quite a big uh, change, but yeah, it is quite a small update. Uh, but yeah, there is a good reason for the fact that it's a small update, and that's because it'll be Season 3 soon. So yeah, Galaxy are working on Season 3 to get that done, like they're... Um, they're, they said they're like aiming to release season three from the 15th of February to the 25th of February. Um, so yeah, they've been working on it for quite a long time. So I, I think it's going to like season three is going to be pretty big. So yeah, it sort of makes sense that uh, yeah, the last couple of weeks, it's not been like really big changes because um, yeah, Galaxy are putting most of their effort into uh, making new stuff for season three rather than like making changes up to that uh so yeah so in last week's change logs we were told that uh there would be a change to core wars in this week's update um so yeah in last week's episode of twig uh i sort of said my ideas like what i thought the change would probably be and i said uh, i thought it would probably be a change with the um like the perk rotation uh like the things that you can get with the core pieces and the upgrade shop i thought that that would probably be uh, rotated because uh they normally do it quite a bit to um like i guess like mix up the game a bit um and yeah they haven't been changed in a while so yeah they have changed the um rotation of the uh perks um so yeah and none of the uh perks that were um like that you could get like before this week's update are still in the rotation like sometimes they leave some of the ones from the previous one in the new one but no all of the picks are completely new uh well no two of them are ones that have been in the rotation in the past but two of them are completely new um so yeah i'll go through each of the different picks individually but i'll start off by going over uh the picks that were removed and sort of like yeah how that will change the game so uh the perks that you could get uh with your core pieces before this week's update um were core overdrive quick step insurance and knockback reduction um i think that knockback reduction and insurance weren't like too useful like i don't think it's like gonna really change the game that they've been removed i mean yeah knockback reduction was quite useful in pvp and um yeah insurance if you did die then it would just be a bit handy that you like didn't have to go and get more like diamonds or iron or whatever um but yeah i think that uh i think call overdrive and quick step uh i, I think it's quite a big deal that they've been removed because uh first of all call, call overdrive it was qu just quite handy for if you were just sort of uh, going off and getting other people's cores, you, if you had uh, core overdrive um, on, you didn't have to worry as much about other people getting your core, because, um, yeah, if they didn't have, I mean, yeah, you c could tank the damage with, uh, like, tier 2 uh, damage reduction, but still, it was quite useful for just keeping people away from your cores, and then quick step, I think it quick step was like really useful and it's a really big deal that this has now been removed because um yeah it now games are just going to be overall quite like a bit slower because before it was like a, like you could just run around faster and get to other people's bases faster so the game would go uh, a bit quicker and also um like at the end of the game sometimes you end up in situations where it's just one person running away from another and yeah if you had quick step it would be uh much more uh like much easier to just get the uh 
game over with quicker and just catch up to the person. Um, so, yeah, I think the fact that court, court overdrive and quick step have been removed is quite a big deal. Um, so, yeah. So the first perk of the new rotation is one that is completely new and hasn't been in the game before and that is uh, Drill Overdrive. Uh, basically what it does is uh, when you like punch your uh, iron drill uh, to get some iron, it doesn't just give you iron, uh, it, also, it also has a chance of giving you uh, diamonds and emeralds. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. It sort of gives an alternate way of getting uh, diamonds and emeralds so you don't have to like bridge to the middle um, so yeah I think it also incentivizes uh, upgrading your drill because before I would just like never really upgrade uh, my drill uh, but I mean now that you can get other things from the drill uh, it might be more worth it to upgrade the drill uh, so that you can get more uh, like other like diamonds and emeralds like um, just it, you, yeah you the, the quicker the drill goes uh, the more uh, diamonds and emeralds you're gonna get um, so yeah but yeah I think if you're gonna have uh, like if you have the sort of playstyle where you just sort of sit back in your base and don't really move around too much I think this will be pretty good because you don't have to like go out your way to get diamonds and emeralds there's another way to get them um, but yeah, if you've got the sort of playstyle where you just go around trying to get uh, everyone's like cores straight away, uh, just sort of like side rushing, uh, like the sort of strategy, that's the sort of strategy that I use. You're not really at your own base much, so it's not too useful. And you also sort of end up getting lots of diamonds when you're going around anyways. So yeah, I don't really know. Um, I think, yeah, it, it's really useful if you're just going to sort of sit back. Because you can get like diamonds and emeralds from not going uh, like out of your base. Uh, so yeah. So the next perk of the new rotation is uh, fast regen. It's not a completely new one. It has been in the game in the past. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, like just a really solid all-round perk because uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be useful for people of different playstyles because. Cold Wars is a sort of PvP game mode, so you're going to be PvPing, and uh, like fast regen just means that uh, like you don't have to like wait as long between uh, each fight because uh, you're going to regen your hearts faster um, between the fights. So yeah, it'll be like quite useful in uh, like teams modes, like uh, duos and uh, quads. Uh, because, yeah, you might be able to uh, regen a few hearts before fighting uh, your opponent's teammate after killing, like, yeah, after killing an opponent, you're, like, going to be able to regen faster uh, to get more hearts for fighting their teammate. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be quite useful. Um, but, yeah, I think it's just an overall good perk in, like, solos as well, because, uh, yeah, like, if you're going between, like, fighting different people, uh quite fast then you're gonna need to regen your hearts between the fights so yeah i think it's just all around a really useful perk so uh the third perk in the new rotation is uh vampire it's a completely new perk uh it hasn't been in the game before um but yeah it's sort of similar to the vampire perk in uh chronos um because yeah you get uh, an extra two hearts of absorption uh after killing someone for five seconds um so yeah i going to be really useful for um like if you're uh like fighting someone else straight after killing one person so yeah uh it's not really too useful in uh solos because it's very rare to have uh fights with uh multiple people within five seconds of each other in solos but in duos and quads when uh you're fighting like whole teams that are like there's a lot of them in the same area then it's yeah, it's going to be really useful for that, for uh, having fights one after the other. Um, but also, I think, if you've got the vampire perk in combination with the fast regen perk, that'll be, like, really good. Um, like, especially in uh, in doubles and quads. Because, uh, yeah, for, like, five seconds, you've got the absorption hearts uh, to help you with fights. But then after that, um, the um, fast regen will have, like... Uh, regen 
uh, enough hearts to sort of fight again. So yeah, like once the vampire uh, is going over, then the fast regen sort of kicks in. And yeah, it's just going to be really good with both of them in combination. So the last perk I'm going to talk about from the new rotation is Shop Sale. Uh, it's one that's been in the game in the past. Um, so yeah, it, what it does is it basically means that uh, all the items that you get are half price. Um, so yeah, it's uh, at the time when it was in the game in the past, I thought it was like really overpowered. I still think it's quite overpowered, uh, especially when you've also got um, the uh, drill overdrive perk. Uh, because uh, when you've just got the drill over overdrive perk, you don't really get enough uh, like emeralds to uh, like diamonds or emeralds to get a lot of things. But when you've also got the shop sale, uh, you you can basically just get like loads of. Uh, OP stuff like just from your base um so yeah like i i think that like tier 3 damage reduction is quite overpowered like when people just bridge to the middle straight away and get emeralds that is quite an overpowered strategy um and now there's just sort of another way to get those overpowered items like of like overpowered dam damage reduction um i mean i don't know but yeah i'd Personally, I think that shop sale is quite overpowered, but I mean, you do need to get uh, 12 core pieces uh, to get it. So you need to get uh, at least two pit, uh, like two people's uh, cores, and yeah, most of the people that would be using, um, like, uh, most people that would be just trying to get um, like the tier three damage reduction aren't the sort of people that just sort of. Uh, rush other people straight away to get enough core pieces so yeah maybe that makes it a bit more fair but still i think that the shop sale uh perk is like really over like really useful uh because you can just get loads of uh stuff uh for really cheap um so yeah so uh yeah that's it for this episode of twig um, I can't believe I just spent like uh, 12 minutes of this video just like uh, like 12 minutes talking about just uh, like one change uh, like the rotation of the Core Wars picks um, I mean I did say it was a big deal um, but yeah uh, anyways uh, like next week I think uh, if there's not too many uh, like updates or changes I think I might uh, uh, just like talk about what I think might be in season 3 uh, so, yeah, I think that's what I might do in next week's episode of Twig. Like, let me know in the comments if you think that's what I should do. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for this episode of Twig. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And also, if you're not already, please subscribe because it really helps me out. And it also means you won't miss any future episodes of this series. Um, so, yeah, bye.